Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Since you guys loved my last candy bouquet video, I know it's been a while since I did one, but I decided to try doing a Thanksgiving turkey themed candy bouquet. Perfect for a hostess gift or even as a festive gift for a friend or loved one. Of course, you can mix and match or use whatever candy you think the person will like best. So let's get started. I got everything in Dollar Tree and I decided to use this cardboard orange decorative basket here from Dollar Tree. But of course, you could even use a recycled cardboard box and just wrap it in some paper. Do what works for you. I'm using a foam block on the inside of this and just pressing it down in there. You could also use some fall filler paper if you want to. I decided to add some in at the end once my candy sticks were all in place. I'm using some of these bamboo forks for the shorter pieces of candy that are going to be in the front of the bouquet in addition to the tall wooden skewer sticks that I'm gonna be using for the pieces in the back. Now I started by breaking the ends off some of my skewer sticks to make them the height that I wanted them to be, although you can push them into the styrofoam a little bit more or a little bit less depending on how tall you want them to be as well. I couldn't decide between these Hershey bars or the brown and blue M&M bags for the back row of tail feathers. I liked that both candy wrappers had the yellow, brown, and blue colors on them because I was trying to kind of tie the colors in as best I could and make everything flow a little more seamlessly. So I decided to do a row of five M&M packages across the back and then roughly space five Hershey bars in front of and slightly offset in between the M&Ms. So this way the whole thing is going to start to fill in and you'll be able to see a little bit of each package behind the, the row in front of it and you'll see every, everything this way. Next I found these Reese's Outrageous bars and I liked the bright yellow and orange stripes on this end to go with our turkey feathers theme over here. I spaced five of these out, again alternating placing them in front in between of the Hershey bars. Take my And I should have gotten five Milky Way bars to do the same thing, but I only got four. So I just did two on each side and placed another M&M pack um, in the center here. I really think that it would have looked a little better though with all five of the same. And then for the neck, you'll need an extra wooden skewer stick. And I just hot glued a Reese's pack on each side. And I did it so that the orange and brown colors would be showing toward the front and not the white label part. I aligned those so they would be more on the back part of this neck. It seemed kind of wobbly and unstable though. So I added a long red lint chocolate bar in there for some extra support and to also hide the stick for the neck. And this worked really, really well. If you can't find that though, the long red and blue packs of double bubble bubble gum that Dollar Tree often has, they could work as well. I was really debating how to do the head. And I know this is gonna be a little stretch of the imagination. So if you have a better idea, please feel free to leave your suggestions down below so everyone can benefit from them. But what I decided to give a try was I like the size and stability of the Kit Kat bar, even though turkeys don't have rectangular heads with letters. But then I ended up coming back with an extra brown pack of M&Ms and folding this end over and using a little hot glue under there so it would be just like a little bit tighter and rounder and then adding hot glue and attaching the M&M pack on top of the Kit Kat bar because the darker colors on the, on the brown M&M pack, they just felt more appropriate for a turkey head and also it gave a little bit rounder shape to it, just a little bit, I know. And also the busier pattern of it, it just blended in better and wasn't as distracting as just the red packaging with those big Kit Kat letters. So I felt like it looked a little bit better and a little bit more like a turkey head and blended in a little bit more seamlessly with the M&Ms on top of it. And I think don't some turkeys have like that red, I don't even know what you call it, that red thing under their neck. So I was thinking of that too and thinking, well, maybe the red under the head, under the neck there is like kind of cool and kind of would be more fitting for a turkey anyway. Then just add two big googly eyes to help convince them that this is in fact a turkey. I know it's a little stretch 
And I almost forgot to mention, if you don't like the way that the wooden sticks look on the back, someone had pointed this out on the last candy bouquet that I did. If you feel like you want the whole back to be filled in, pick up a few extra packages of the M&Ms and you can go ahead and use hot glue on the back side of your skewer sticks as well and put those on there. And then you could do something small like what we did with the little Butterfinger candies and you could do those below it and do a row of that as well. So you could certainly fill in the back of your turkey if you feel like you want front and the back side both looking really cute. It would also be a creative way to add extra candy if this is for like a larger event or group of people that you're giving it to and you want there to be extra candy on there, that would be a perfect way to fill in some extra candy. But I was trying to incorporate all shades of yellow, orange, red, and brown and try to stick with colors that would kind of fit with the fall theme, not using anything like pinks or purples. I wanted to go with the fall colors and try to put together something that would be yummy and delicious and kind of look like a turkey, you know? I think that the tail feathers part came out great and I'm pretty sure any candy lover would be happy to receive this and there's more than enough to go around. You could give it as a gift to a family, a coworker, a hostess gift, or even just bring it into the office to share with everybody or maybe put out for your guests to enjoy on Thanksgiving day. Thanks so much for watching guys. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you all soon in the next one. Bye.